Hey guys, it's Charlotte, your favorite Squarespace SEO expert. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about headings and your Squarespace website and what role they have in SEO. So if you want to learn what the different headings are on your website, how to use them properly, how to format them, how to style them, also learn what impact there is on SEO, then you're in the right place and we're going to cover all of that in this video. And if you haven't met me before, then I'm Charlotte and I'm a Squarespace SEO expert. And here on my channel, I talk all about, you know, Squarespace SEO, obviously, and web design and development, online marketing, business. So take a look at the rest of the content that I have here on my channel, because no matter where you are in your Squarespace SEO journey, there's going to be something for you. But that's enough for now. Let's get into today's topic where we're talking all about the headings. So I'm going to share my screen here uh, where, oh, there's the button. <laughs> there's the button. Good, good, good. And before we begin, I want to let you know that I have a free Squarespace SEO checklist that is available for download. And I'm going to link the link, leave the link down below for you so you can grab a copy of it. And this Squarespace SEO checklist has been downloaded by like thousands and thousands of people at this point. So you're an excellent company for the checklist. And whether you are just starting out with Squarespace SEO and you have no idea where to begin, you're looking for someone to point you in the right direction, or if maybe you've been at it a little while, but you want to make sure that you're not <laughs> like forgetting anything, you haven't done something incorrectly, then this Squarespace SEO checklist is going to be so helpful for you. So again, I'm going to leave the link down below. You can grab your copy and, um, Take a look. Okay, so now in today's video, we are going to be talking about different headings that we have and how they're used on your Squarespace website. So I've got a demo website here and you can follow along with your own Squarespace website while we're at it. This demo website is built on version 7.1, but if you're on 7.0 of Squarespace, which is totally fine, if you're on 7.0, then it'll look like fairly similar, but some things might be a little bit different. It just depends um, on what we're doing. So let's see this kind of in action. So I'll just take um, a random page here. And this is kind of an example services page. Let's open it up. Okay, so when you go to start playing around with the text on your website, you're going to notice that there are different options on how to style that text. So for example, here right now, I have selected heading one, but you also have heading two, heading three, and heading four. Okay, And you probably are like, oh, what do those mean? Well, basically, there's two points of what the different headings are. And first of all, different headings allow us to style certain pieces of text in a different way. So for example, traditionally the heading one might be the largest, boldest, you know, biggest piece of text that you have. And then, you know, heading two might be a little bit smaller, heading three, heading four, that kind of thing. So we can use it to design differently. You could also use headings to maybe have like different font stylings or different like colors, even anything like that. So there's the design element to what a heading looks like, but also too, there's the um, kind of like the back end informational side of what a heading is. And I want to show you what I mean. So headings, like, you know, we think of them when we see them and we're designing a Squarespace website, we think of them visually, but headings are also really important from the HTML side. So you can see here in just, this is like a pretty basic thing, but anytime you have like a, just a basic heading text, right? So here it says heading one, but on the you know Squarespace website, this is a heading one, right? So you can see it like that. On the back end, what Google sees when they're crawling and indexing is actually this little bit of HTML tag that's at the beginning, right? The H1 and then the close H1 tag. That is indicating to Google when they're crawling and indexing, oh, the light is in my face here. Um, that this is a heading one text and therefore it is kind of like the first place to start the most important thing for you. And you can see that same thing, it goes in descending order of heading two, heading three, heading four, and et cetera, right? So again, there are these little HTML tags that are happening on the back end for Google to see when they're crawling and indexing the website. So when you're using, when you're setting up a page, you know, you want to think about using headers in a way that obviously plays to the design element of what headers can do for you, 
but you also want to use them in a way that if Google is crawling and indexing the content, it helps to in indicate like different ideas, different sections, order of importance, getting more and more like kind of, you know, from broad to granular, that sort of thing. So an example on this page, again, you might have like the services. So your, your page title would be a heading one. And then down here, if you have like service number one, service number two, service number three, then all of those, because they're kind of like the next heading in order of like descending importance, but also visual thing, then you might put them as a heading two, right? And then if you wanted to break those down even further, you could go to heading three or four, but it's kind of up to you on that front. So that's what I want you to think about when you are using the headers, both how they play out for the design aspect, but then also the SEO importance of it. And another thing I wanted to show you here is that if you want to change how the headings look and how they appear, all that sort of thing, then you can kind of come and click on this site styles button. Okay, there it is. It's that little like brush button. Do you see like you open the page and there's that little like brush? Come on. There we go. <laughs> it's like, don't do me dirty there. Okay, then that opens up the site styles. And now we can go and play around with it. So under fonts, for example, if we click on there and then start selecting, you know, like the headings, like if you click on it, right, the headings, then it'll, it'll bring up the headings tab here. And then you can, again, change all of the different styling aspects of how these headers appear. So again, if you scroll down here to heading one, then, you know, you can play around with the size of it, you can play around with, you know, like the, the font family, like anything like that. Um, the weight, the style, like all that sort of thing. So just because your headings look one way when you first build the Squarespace website or you're first designing it, doesn't mean that you can't play around with it and really make it your own. So yeah, if you're using headings, which you will be, <laughs> you will be using headings on your Squarespace website. Don't forget that you can use them from a design point of view, but they also are really helpful from an SEO point of view. So that is a quick overview of the headings that you might have on your Squarespace website, how to use them, how to set them up, how to style them, and also what to consider from an SEO point of view. And I hope this was helpful for you. Hope you learned something new or it cleared something up for you if you were kind of like, uh, which headers do I use and when? <laughs> Things like that. So thank you so much for watching. Before you go, don't forget you can grab a copy of the Squarespace SEO checklist. The link is down below for download. And take a look at the other videos that I have here on my YouTube channel or over on my blog for lots more resources all about Squarespace SEO web design and development, online marketing, business, things like that. If you like this video, feel free to like it or leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have any other questions that you that came up when you were watching this or if you have any ideas for other video topics in the future, leave them down below as well. I'd love to hear from you and um, see what you want more of here on the YouTube channel because it's for you. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon in the next video and take care. Enjoy your day. Bye.